Hello my dear student. So today I'm here to teach you a very important lesson. Right? So very important. Then very very important lesson in the mathematics. So what is the subject? What is the lesson? Fractions, right? Today, so I'm going to uh, I'm here to teach you fraction the part one, right? So very important lesson to your daily life and also the all of us right fractions in this video uh, right then after after watching that video after watching this video you will able to identify the mixed numbers identify the fraction types so get an idea about the fraction uh, so those things will be covered in this lesson let's take so you can see a rectangle in this figure right so how many parts are there my students? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many parts are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Out of the two parts, right? So you can, you can clearly see I have colored two parts. Right? Let's take the area bounded. Let's take the area bounded the figure given below as a one unit. Just consider this is a one unit, right? This is a one unit. Just consider this is a one unit. Then unit has divided into five pieces. Equal five parts. One, two, three, four, five. Unit has been uh, divided into equal five parts. Right? Uh, that Then out of that five parts, two parts colored. So we can write down that fraction as one, two, three, four, five and 2 over 5 or 2 fifth right 2 over 5 so we can write down the fraction as 2 over 5 right that 2 Lamai, that is a very special name, name for that one that is a very special name for that one what is that one numerator numerator what is that one numerator the 5 5 means denominator 5 means denominator numerator and the denominator look at this one 1 2 3 5 4 5 that means 5 parts are there 5 parts means denominator 2 colored that means 2 parts numerator right so that means 2 over 5 numerator and the denominator right just consider that example, I'm just taking a pizza. Mm, very delicious pizza, right? So I'm just taking a pizza, right? So you can see that one. And I have divided, I have sliced that one into six pieces. Six slices. Six slices. I'm just taking one slice. I'm just taking one slice, right? And that means one, two, three, four, five, six. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equals 6 parts. So that means 1 over 6 or 1 sixth or 1 over 6. One portion is colored out of 6 portions. 1 is numerator, 6 is denominator. Right? 1 is numerator, 6 is denominator. Now you can get an idea about the fraction. So let me explain another example. My dear student, just consider class. Just consider the class. Just think there are, right? Uh, right? Girls. There are four girls. Four girls and two boys. One, two, three, four girls and two boys in a classroom so we can write down girls that total girls count as a fraction one two three four five six out of six how many students are girls so four what is the fraction of girls right four over six then boys just try to think about that one just try to think about that and then boys 1 2 3 4 5 6 then out of 6 how many boys are there two boys right 
So this is the basic idea of the fraction, right? So then you can write down as a fraction. This one is the numerator and this one is the denominator. Those things, so we have discussed those things in lower grades. So that is the fraction. Let's consider some fraction types together, right? So I think this one is very clear for you, right? So let's move to the next one. Right, Lamai? So I'm just again reminding you, my dear student, those things are very important up to all level, right? So let's consider 2 over 5. So that means numerator. That means numerator. This one is denominator. Right? Numerator and the denominator. So we can write down those things. That one is very important. The number below the line. The number below the line is called denominator. The number above the line is called numerator. Below the line is called numerator. Above the line is called... Uh, Right, below the line is called denominator, above the line is called numerator. Right, so we already discussed those things. Right, now, so we are going to, next one is, so we are going to talk about the fraction types. Fraction types, my dear students. So there are so many fractions types, right? Now you know, so there are so many types, you know, when we contain about a certain category, we can categorize into that one. Just take a phone as example. Right, I'm just taking phone. So what are the categories of phone? Right? What are the categories of phone? Right? So let's take Nokia, right? Then Apple, right, and Samsung. So those are the categories you now. Likewise, so we can categorize into fractions. So what are the types of fraction? So we can clearly see what are the types of fraction. Right? Just look at this one. Types of fraction. Types of fractions. Basically, Lama, basically there are so just look at the see how to categorize, how to factorize those things, right? Right, my dear students. So we are going to learn about the fraction types. What are the fraction types? Proper fractions, unit fractions, equivalent fractions, and there are so many fraction types. So we will learn about first two things. Proper fractions. Proper fractions mean so you can see then I have write down some examples for the proper fraction 2 over 3, 2 over 5, 3 over 7 those are the proper fraction examples for proper fraction right numbers which smaller than 1 all that numbers are smaller than 1 but but larger than 0 larger than 0 or you can easily uh, write proper fraction by considering this point what is the point the numerator should be the numerator right should be the value is smaller than right than the denominator that means this number 5 should be smaller than the denominator right that means uh, which are smaller than but larger than 0 are called proper fraction that is a very important point in a proper fraction the numerator, the numerator is always smaller than the denominator. Numerator is always smaller than the denominator. Which one is the logka? This is the logka. This is the podda. Podda means smaller ones. Logka means larger one. Right? Uh, that means numerator should be smaller than the denominator. 2 over 7. Okay. Right? I mean, numerator is less than the denominator. 13 over 18, okay. But just consider that example 19 over 5. No, that one is not a proper fraction. Look at the denominator is 5. Look at the numerator is my dear student 19. So numerator is larger than the denominator. So this is not a proper fraction. Right? So I think that one is very clear for you. I'm just taking the unit fraction. So what is the meaning of unit fraction, my dear student? What is the meaning of unit fraction? Unit fractions means always numerator is equal to 1. Numerator is equal to 1. If that numerator is equal to 1, those fractions are called as unit fractions. Very easy. You can write down uh, millions of examples. 1 over 11, 1 over 13, 1 over 100, 1 over 200. 
all those fractions are unit fractions right ah just take like that now that is a very important fraction type what is that one equivalent fraction so now we are going to consider that one so let's move to that next chapter what is that one equivalent fractions equivalent fractions equivalent fraction lovely equal means equal means same may same fractions right so same in magnitude right just consider the figure this one right just consider the figure given below right now in this one i have two part just consider this ball diagram as a one unit right one unit then i'm going to color this one okay right so i'm going to color this one my dear student right right so how many portions are there two portions so yes now you know you can mention that one as a fraction 1 over 2 1 over 2 or half right very easy just look at the second one i'm just going to color two portions two portions right i'm just going to color two portions right then two pieces out of four so we can write down this one as a fraction 2 over 4 2 over 4 ah lovely but my dear students so just careful look at this one look at the magnitude this one equals to same right same neither ah me this one equals to same to this one now just consider this one i'm just going to color three parts just going to color three parts i'm just coloring three parts so can you write down that one as a fraction 1 2 3 4 5 6 and out of six portions right out of six portion how many parts are colored 1 2 3 three parts are colored out of six portions 1 over 2 2 over 4 3 over 6 right Ah, uh, then you can clearly see those fractions. Those magnitudes are equal. This one same to this one. This one same to this one. This one same to this one. Ah, uh, that means those fraction also should be equal to each other. Now look at the figure. It is same now. This one is same now. This one is same means one over two equals to two over four equals to three over six. Ah, look at this one. Those fractions are called as equivalent fractions. We learned in grade six such that fractions which have uh, denominators, right? Which have denominator which are different to each other. Denominators which are different to each uh, each other, and the numerators too. But those fractions are equal. Denominators are different. Numerators are different. But those fractions are equal, right? but those fractions are equal those type of fractions we can call as equivalent fraction right equivalent fraction so now how to create the equivalent fractions you can multiply you can multiply numerator and the denominator by using the same number so you can very easy right so you can multiply numerator and the denominator using the same number just consider this one i'm just going to clear this one right Now my map get this one very easy if you need to create a equivalent fraction just consider the half you you can multiply by 2 by the numerator ah then by 2 the denominator as well you need to use same number for that one you need to multiply the numerator and also the denominator 2 into 1 equals to 2 2 into 2 equals to 4 right so let's take that one Or one over two, you can multiply by three. You can multiply by three, my dear student. One into three equals to three. Two into three equals to six. One over two equal unto six. Two over three over six. One over two equal unto three over six. Not right. Not only by multiplying that one, by also dividing, you can create the equivalent fraction. You can create the equivalent fraction by the dividing also. Right, so by multiplying both numerator and denominator, right, 
we use in the same number you can create the equivalent fraction by dividing also you can create the equivalent fraction i will take you the example right let's take 18 over 24 i'm just going to divide by 2 the, the denominator also divide by 2 18 divide by 2 what is the answer 9 24 divide by 2 what is the answer 12 that means 18 over 24 equal to 9 over 12 uh, so you can see 18 and 24 so we can divide by 3 also let's take that fraction 18 over 24 divide by let's take 6 shall I take this one 6 and this one also 6 18 divided by 6 3 24 divided by 6 4 uh, then you can see so how to create the equivalent fraction right I'm just recapping so what are the things you have learned on grade 6 right from grade 6 from 0 to hero I'm just doing this one from the beginning right right so you can clearly understand all the concepts then if you have any doubts or questions with the fraction lesson you can clear all those things very well am I right this is a big opportunity so try to catch that one so just try to solve the problems and the questions so you can be an expert right equal and fraction now what are the things we have done we just identify what is the numerator and what is the denominator what are the proper fractions what are the unique fractions then what are the equal and fraction let's move to the some exercises right after completing some theory points my dear student so let's take the review exercises select the unit fractions right and now you know that one unit fractions means unit fractions means what is that one uh, numerator and the denominator this is the numerator and the denominator ah me so i will tell you very easy method to remember this one right numerator is the above one Denominator is the below one. So, nangi on donkey. Nangi on donkey. Right? N and D. So, you can easily remember this one, right? Nangi is not donkey. Nangi on donkey, right? Nangi on donkey. Not nangi is donkey, right? Nangi on donkey. N divided by D numerator and the denominator that you can easily remember that one by using that thing nangi on donkey n is the numerator numerator should be equals to one numerator should be equals to one my dear student so what are the unit fraction this one is a unit fraction no look at the numerator two right this is a unit fraction this is a unit fraction right this is an unit fraction this one also the unit fraction 1 over 7, 1 over 3, 1 over 100. So, 3 unit fractions. Right? 3 unit fractions. Right? Uh, so, let's take 3 over 2, 1 over 7, uh, 11 over 15, 1 over 3. Let's take 9 over 100 also there. Right? Is this a unit fraction? No, this is not a unit fraction. Let's take 1 over 50. Ah, this one is a unit fraction. Fill in the blanks by selecting suitable value from the bracket. Right? Ah, suitable value from the bracket. 3 over 5 is. 3 over 5 is. Right? So look at this one, Lamai. 3 over 5. Ah, 3 over 5 is. 1 over 5. Right? 3 over 5 equals to 1 over 5 means that 3 times 3 times 3 times 1 over 5 just consider this figure 1 2 3 4 5 right this is 1 over 5 this is 1 over 5 this one is 1 over 5 so 1 over 5 multiply by 3 how many portions are there are 3 portions like that 3 portions should be equals to 3 over 5 3 over 5 is equals to equals to 3 1 over 5 3 1 over 5 2 over 7 is 2 over 7 is 2 times 
2 times what is the answer? 2 times 1 over 7. 2 times 1 over 7. Right. 5 1 over 6 is equals to 5 1 over 6 is equals to that means 1 over 6. 5 1 over 6. Right. 5 times 1 over 6, my dear student. That means right. So one into five, right? Five times one over six means this one. Five over six. Five one over six. Right? Five one over six. One over six. One over six. Like that portion. So how many portions should be there? Five portions. One over six. One over six. One over six and one over six. One two three. One two three four five. All together, 5 over 6. Right? That is the value. I'm just going to clear this one. Right, okay. Blank divide by 12 is equal to 2 over 3. Blank divide by 12 is equal to 2 over 3. 2 over 3. That means 2 over 3 should be equals to something dividing by 12. My dear student, 3 should be equals to 12. 3 should be equals to 12. To that one, you need to multiply by 4. You need to multiply by 4. So look at the denominator, you need to multiply by 4. Just take the numerator. Numerator also, you need to multiply by 2, very easy. 4 into 2, 12. 4 into, sorry, 4 into 3, 12, 4 into 2, what is the value? 8. 4 into 3, 12, 4 into 2, what is the value? 8. That means 8 over 12. 8 over 12 is equal to 2 over 3. Right? You need to do a lot of questions, Lamai, then you can easily understand those concepts. This is maths. Right, so you need to solve the problems, then you can only improve your knowledge. Right, so I will guide that one from the beginning level so you can easily understand those things. Let's quickly move to the, our third question. So, I think all this one clear up to now. Right, I'm just too quickly moving to the question number three. Third question, write down two equivalent fractions for each of the following fractions. Write each of the following fractions. Uh, equivalent fraction, Lamai. So you know that in theory, you need to multiply numerator and the denominator by the same number, right? 2 over 3, right? So you can multiply 2 over 3. I'm just taking 2 and the denominator also 2. 2 into 2 equals to 4. 3 into 2 6. Or 2 over 3 multiplied by you can take 3. You can take any number but you have to multiply numerator and the denominator by using the same number. Right? That is the theory. Uh, 2 into 3 equals to 6. 3 into 3 equals to 9. 3 over 5. Just take any number. Right, so six, 4 over 6 equal to 2 over 3, 6 over 9 is equal to 2 over 3, 3 over 5. I'm just taking 3 over 5, I'm just going to multiply by 2 and the numerator and also the denominator 6 over 10. I'm just going to multiply 3 over 5, then both numerator and the denominator by 3, 3 into 3, 9, 5 into 3, 15. So you can create two equivalent fractions to 3 over 5. 6 over 8. Not actual number, not divide, not multiplying, not only the multiplying, but also the dividing also you can create equivalent fraction. Uh, I'm just taking 6 over 8. You know the value, 6 over 8. I'm just taking, I'm just going to divide that one. I'm just going to divide by 2. De denominator also divide by 2, 6 divide by 2, 3, 8 divide by 2, 4. 
6 over 8, right? Uh, or, so you can uh, divide by 2, then you can also multiply by 2. Then 6 divided by 8, I'm just going to multiply by 2, the numerator and also the denominator. 6 into 2, 12, 8 into 2, 16. 6 into 2, 12, 8 into 2, 16. Very easy. 36 over 48. What you can do? What you can do, my dear student? 36 over 48, 36 over 48. I'm just going to divide by 6. You can divide by 6. Denominator also divide by 6. 36 divide by 6. 6. 48 divide by 6. 8. 48 divide by 6. 6 into 8. 48. Right. Uh, 6 into 8. Right. 7. Right. Right, so what is the next one? 36. And I'm just taking, uh, 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 so you can take uh, 5, right? I'm just taking 2, yes, then you can divide by 2 also. 36 divided by 2 and 48 divided by 2. 36 divided by 2, what is the answer? What is the answer? 18. 48 divided by 2. 24. 36 divided by 2, 18. 48 divided by 2, 24. Right? 48 divided by 2, 24. Right? So write down the E2 equal and fraction for each of the following fractions. Right? That one is very easy, Lamai. Right? So let's move to the next questions. You can create equal and fraction by multiplying the denominator and the numerator using same number or by dividing or the dividing and the numerator and the denominator by using same number. There are two methods. Multiplying by the denominator and the numerator and dividing by the denominator and the numerator by same number. You can create equal and fraction. I think that part is very clear for you, right? So let's move to the question number four. Write down the fractions 4 over 7, 1 over 7, 6 over 7 and 5 over 7 in ascending order. What is the meaning of ascending order, my dear student? From smallest to largest, right? So you need to arrange that fraction into the ascending order. So 4 over 7. 4 over 7 means. So what is the meaning of 4 over 7? So we have learned that, right? 4 over 7, right? 4 over 7 is 4. 4 over 7 is 4, right? 4 over 7 is 4, 1 over 7. 4 over 7 is 4 times 1 over 7. So 1 over 7 means 1 times 1 over 7. 6 over 7 is uh, 6 times 1 over 7. According to that one, 1 over 7 is the smallest one. 1 over 7, then next, what is the next one? 4 over 7, next, 5 over 7, next, 6 over 7. From smallest to largest. Very easy. Right? If you are having the same denominator, if you are having the same denominator, Lama, you can very easily arrange those fractions. You can very easily do that one. Right? Uh, so you can actually you can very easily do, do that one if you are having the same denominator. Uh, just consider that one. This is not the question. I'm just taking uh, the same question like that 1 over 8, 5 over 8, 9 over 8, right? Uh, not 9 over 8, 6 over 8, and 3 over 8. Just consider this one. If you need to arrange this one into the ascending order, into the ascending order, so 1 over 8 is the first one, 3 over 8 is the second one, 5 over 8 is the third one, 6 over 8 is the fourth one. This one, this is the smallest one, then 1 over 8. 3 over 8, 5 over 8 and 6 over 8. So you can arrange that one into the ascending order. That one is very easy. But look at the question number 5. Write down the fractions 7 over 12, 5 over 12, 2 over 3 and 1 over 4 according to the ascending order. Ascending order, these two fractions are properly, so we can compare that one without no issues or no doubts because we are having the same denominator. 
but lamai men mea 2 over 3 2 over 3 and 1 over 4 but we can't compare that one right 2 over 3 so what do you need to do we need to create equal and fractions to 12 we need to create equal and fraction to 12 that means so 12 means you need to multiply by 4 to create 12 you need to multiply by 4 why you need to multiply by 4 because you need to create 12 for the denominator you need to create 12 for the denominator that means you need to create an equal and fraction that means you need to multiply by 4 for the denominator then you need to multiply by 4 the numerator as well ah uh, then 2 into 4 8 4 3 12 then what is the next fraction 1 over 4 One over four, so you can convert into the equal fraction. Four, you need to convert into the twelve. So how to do that one? You can multiply by three for the numerator. Also, you can multiply by three. One into three, three. Four into three equals to twelve. Ah, now look at the order. Seven over twelve, five over twelve, right? Now, my dear, understand that one. Right, very easy. If we are having the different denominators, you need to convert to the same denominator that twelve. Twelve means according to this question, you can convert to twelve. Either so, you need to convert to that one, right? So eight and twelve, three and twelve. So which one is the smallest one? Which one is the smallest one? Three over twelve. Then five over twelve. Then seven over twelve. Then eight over twelve. Ah, uh, that means three over twelve. Three over twelve means one over four. So we need to convert that one into the ascending order. One over four. Five over twelve means five over twelve. Seven over twelve means seven over twelve means seven over twelve. Then eight over twelve means. So what the eight over twelve means? What is the fraction? What is the fraction? Two over three. Right. So this one is the smallest one. This one is the largest one. Right. Yes. I think that part is very clear for you. Let's move to the question number six and eight. Right. Now my question number six. Eleven over twelve. Eleven over nineteen. Eleven over twenty-five, eleven over seventeen. Arrange these fraction in descending order. Descending order means you need to write down the first. Uh, you need to write down the largest value, right? Highest value from highest to lowest. That is the meaning of descending. No, ascending means smallest to largest. Descending means largest to smallest. But so just look at the numerator. Eleven numerators are same, but denominators are not same. Denominators are not same. So how to do that one? Just consider this one, right? Eleven over twelve, eleven over nineteen, eleven over twenty-five, eleven over seventeen. Just think about the chocolate roll. You know that chocolate roll, huh? You know that one? Chocolate roll, right? I'm just getting a chocolate roll. And I'm just taking four chocolate rolls, right? Four chocolate rolls, same length, same brand, same price. Four chocolate rolls. Look at the first one. Eleven over twelve. Ah, eleven over twelve means I'm just slicing into twelve pieces. I'm just slicing into twelve pieces, twelve slices. Second one, I'm just slicing into nineteen slices. This one, twelve slices. This one, nineteen slices. This one, twenty-five slices. This one, seventeen slices. Now, according to your experience, you have that experience now, ne? So, according to your experience, la mai, which one is the highest portion? Which one? Which, which, which portion is the uh, largest one? So, which which portion is the which slice is the largest one? Dividing into twelve, dividing into nineteen, slicing into twenty-five, slicing into seventeen, slicing into twelve means the largest one, right? And that means same numerator, 
by look at the denominator if i have the same numerator and the different denominators denominators that highest denominator right highest denominator means lowest fraction so if you are going to increase the denominator value of the fraction will decrease that means this descending order which one is the largest which one is the highest portion this is the highest portion 11 over 12 11 over 12 is the highest one 11 over 12 then next 11 over 12 then next 11 over 17 then next 11 over 19 then next 11 over 20 11 over 25 will be the smallest one right 11 over 25 will be the smallest one right question number 6 that is the answer for question number 6 i'm just quickly moving to the last question what is that one question number 7 let's try to do that one last question If Amila obtained thirty-one marks out of total of fifty marks for a test, express his marks as a fraction of the total marks. Very easy question, Lamai. So, what is the full marks? Fifty, right? Is the total portion? Fifty, the total portion. But the marks obtained by Amila thirty-one. That means thirty-one over fifty. That means thirty-one over fifty. Thirty-one over fifty. This one should be the numerator. This one should be the denominator. Right? Thirty-one over fifty. If I will obtain thirty-one marks out of total of fifty marks for a test, express his marks as a fraction of the total marks. Thirty-one over fifty. Right? So. Then what are the things that I should be have covered, right? By using this video, fractions, and we learn about the numerator, right? We learn about the numerator, right? And the denominator, numerator, and the denominator, and we learn about the unit fractions and the proper fraction, equivalent fraction. So how to arrange fraction into the ascending order and the descending order. So this is the end of the video of fraction part one. So I have covered what are the fundamental things in this video. Let's uh, meet you, right? Let's see you on the new video that is fraction part two. Thank you very much. Just try to solve questions, right? Just think, just try to think about that one about the fraction. Just try to do a lot of questions. Thank you very much, my dear student. See you, see you soon. in the fraction part 2 thank you